Hello, Magic the Gathering players. This is Andatesh Ordo. Today I'm going to be talking about the the rest of Magic or Masters 25. Uh, they were they released the rest here on February 2nd. I I didn't get February 1st spoilers released, so I'm going to kind of just skim through them, recognize any of the ones I've actually seen that had a uh, excuse me a, a rarity drop. So. So yeah, as you can see, you've got Active Heroism, Angelic Page, Angelic Page, oh yeah, that's right, Angelic Page, I think the last time that was reprinted was like 8th, 9th edition, and it had a, just, it was just a spirit, and it's technically an angel spirit, and so that's a really good reprint. They brought it up to an uncommon for some odd reason, I think it was a, I think it was an uncommon or a common, but I feel like that's more of a common ability, especially being it, but for an angel, like, uh, I don't know if it'd be viable as a modern angel card, but it is still a cool, it's a cool, interesting card. It just needs like a better, maybe two mana, one, two, or two, one flying angel spirit would have been better. Maybe a one, two. So, um, Oromancer was reprinted, Congregate, Dauntless Cathar, Disenchant. Fencing Ace is now a common. It was originally a uncommon, so definitely uh, for like white weenie strategies, definitely pay attention to that. And Popper. That is really going to be an exciting uh, update. Uh, Fiend Hunter's just been reprinted, still uncommon. Geist of the Moors, I think that was already common. Uh, God's Willing, I think that one was uncommon. They brought it to common, unless it was already common before. Um, but, you know, definitely good in Popper, because the uh, other version that gives all white creatures you control protection from a certain color, that one's still going to be an uncommon ability. Um, Knight of the Skyward Eye, that's, um, of course, yeah, Corona Spirit, Griffin, Protector, uh, Cognomus Sleeping Dragon was a rare, now it's an uncommon, so they brought that as a, back as an uncommon, that's kind of cool, uh, so they, they, they've been bringing a lot of legendaries back down to un, the uncommon rating, uh, Loyal Sentry, no matter one one, just blocks a creature, destroy that creature, and Loyal Sentry, so as long as as long as it's not indestructible or regenerates, you can destroy a creature with this. Whenever it blocks a creature, so and it, the nice thing is it's a really good chump blocker. So Popper may actually pick those up just to block a lot of different like uh, oh, what's that delve zombie? Oh, man, I'm going blank, but uh, you know it's like a five five. You could just instantly block it and it dies. Now, of course, Trample, I believe, still gets through, but at least it's still taking out a creature. Or unless it's just when it blocks, it activates. That could be a thing, too. But it's going to be good in Popper because a lot there's a lot of new cards that are starting to be high costly. Or like big 5-5s five and stuff. So it's... And it block, It really blocks a um, uh, the 8-mana eight 8-8 eight, eight, uh, Eldrazi as well. So that's something good to look into. Uh, Lunark Mantle, Noble Templar, I got that plain cycling set up, uh, Nyx Fleece Ram, so I, I'm kind of going through as, as well, I've, I've skimmed through white and black and I think blue, uh, so I kind of see what's been released so far, Order of the Deal, Pacifism, Path of Peace, Squadron Hawk has been reprinted, Swords to Plowshares, um, Urbis Protector, Valor of Akros, White Mane Lion, Arcane Denial, Borrowing a Thousand Arrows. I think that was a uncommon. Now it's a common. Draw a card for each tap creature your target opponent controls. Oh, they attack. You just draw so you can draw into your answers. That's good. Will it be viable in Popper? Maybe. Um, choking Tethers. There's not much to talk about on that. I think I think Court Hosser was a uncommon back in its normal set. I think I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that one. <laughs> um, so Curiosity, I think that was a common, and now it's an uncommon. Uh, Dragon Eyed Servants. Uh, then Freed from the Real, I believe. What I know that was a common, and it's now an uncommon. And it does make sense. That kind of is, especially when you actually alone. It does. It looks like a common ability, but when it's comboed with something, it's a definite uncommon ability. Part of a combo. Uncommon horseshoe crab, murder crows, 
Phantasmal Bear. I think Phantasmal Bear was an uncommon. I'm not sure. Uh, right off the bat. Uh, yeah. Again, I, I apologize for not knowing some of these because it's been a while since I've really paid attention to some of these cards. Older, older, older cards. Yeah, I don't. I probably skipped a few, so you can comment those in below. Uh, Twisted Image is still uncommon. Ancient Cravings, that one is uncommon instead of rare. That's that's nice. That makes sense because that feels more of a uncommon ability instead of a rare ability. Blood Hunter Bat. Now, now I will say there is a z old zombie back in the day that was a four mana. It's two colorless and two black for a two two that does this uh, target player lose two life, gain two life. It was an uncommon. I was so hoping they'd reprint that because it would be really good in a popper zombie deck because you got your three mana drop zombie that you, you play a zombie on turn one, turn two, turn three. You play that one on turn four and then you play gray merch on turn five and do a huge drain. Would have been kind of cool, but unfortunately it's not there. It's not. They have blood hunter bat. Kind of disappointed in that, but I guess they might have needed a magic 13 set. Um, Caustic tar. Is reprinted. Deadly Designs. Death's Head Buzzard has been reprinted. When it dies. That would have been cool if that was a skeletal zombie bird. I, I feel like that was a miss. Uh, it feels like either a zombie bird or a skeleton bird. All creatures get native when they want to tell them to turn. It just feels more that way instead of just a bird. It doesn't Because at least the picture. Going off the picture and the name just feels that way. But other than that, it's still not bad. Um, Disfigure, Dusk Z Zealot, Fallen Angel, I know in the past, I think it might have had a reprinted to a Uncommon before, but it was a rare, because I remember it be, I remember playing around with this card, uh, when I first was introduced to Magic, it was a little fun card to play as a casual, so yeah, we're getting a lot of these different black, uh, different cards, like we got Twisted Ambition, Vampiric Lacerator, uh, Will Will o Wisp. Now, Will of the Wisp is a really cool card, and it was originally rare. So they really rare shifted that one for sure. And actually, you know, I like that card. It just hasn't been reprinted since I think about ninth, eighth, ninth edition somewhere around there. And it's nice to see that brought back. It is. I want to. I could see that being a you know pop up in future corsets, just as a you know a simple one mana zero one flying regenerator. So you, as long as you keep black up, you could just chump block to no end in a black deck. Uh, Zulaport Cutthroat. That's still uncommon. Act of Treason and Browbeat been brought back. So yeah, I was starting to get into here, and I just decided to start the recording. So, I'm just kind of skimming through just to see if I've noticed any uh, rarity changes. <clears throat> Humble Defector. But yeah, I'm so far, like, I'm okay with this set. There's some, you know, there's some iffy cards here and there. I think Skeletonized was an uncommon. I know the Pyroclasm stays in uncommon. That'd be too powerful for Popper. But then again, they're going to get to the point where they will have to print Pyroclasm as a common for Popper. Because of all the crazy cards that keep bringing in to Popper. <laughs> and all these uh, sh rarity shifts. Arbrow's reprinted. Ambassador. So I apologize if I miss any of the rarities. But Elvish Aberration. Oh, that's, that's a nice card. I wouldn't mind seeing the Aberration come back in a future. Uh, I think they got that whole cycle. So far I've seen, seen all of the cycle so far. So I think they got that whole cycle of... Uh, land basic land cycling uh, they got the echo encourage cultivate in here so they got the mana fixing for draft um i know the uh iwana Ma or iwamori the open fist is a uh, reprint or i'm mean, no reprint well it's a reprint duh, but i mean it's a rarity shift from rare to uncommon so yeah they're doing a lot of rarity shifts for sure because I guess they're finding the fact that the cards they print nowadays compared to back then, those cards just have a more common or uncommon-esque feel versus a rare. Or mythic, even. I think in the past, one of the past Master Sets or something, they actually did a rarity shift from mythic to common or mythic to uncommon, at least. So, yeah, going through them, it's not too bad, not too bad. They, they reprint a 2 upper Sprawl. That one's a really good one because that's used a lot in modern. And I think they only had one printing, so reprinting Utopia Sprawl makes sense. 
Um, now we're going to get into the multicolors, which is nice. They brought back Blightning. It's uncommon now. Whoa, that's a common before. Like, I understand the charms being uncommon. A lot of the charms make sense to be uncommon, but Blightning? Okay. I felt more common, but at the same time, I guess it could be an uncommon. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. I think that was a rare, so now it's an uncommon. That one makes sense. Um, now the artifacts. Hey, Perilous Mirror. Is uncommon now, too? That was a common in the first uh, printing. They raised that one to uncommon. Psy of Shinobi. That's a card I would like to see in Modern. Because it would be kind of a cool little... You pay it on, play it on turn one, and any creature in the future you play, it instantly pumps it up. Prophetic Prism is a common... I think that was uncommon at one time. Unless there was another version of that that was... Um, my landscape is uncommon. That one kind of makes sense. Quicksand is uncommon. I think they had a printing of quicksand is uncommon. Ooh, they brought Unearth back. Ooh, nice. That's some nice stuff to bring back. Unearth. Uh, it deserves a reprinting, and it's still common. It is still a common unprinting. It is used a lot in Popper, so definitely, I'm definitely looking to picking those up. Jackal Pup is reprinted as a common. Rancor's an uncommon, so that makes sense. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't, like, completed that cycle. Uh, so, yeah, that is uh, at least March 2nd. So, March 1st, I'm going to kind of skim through. Um, Ghost Ship was, I think, an uncommon or rare in the past. I think I looked it up, and it was, actually, it was uncommon. And now it is a common printing. I think in the dark it was common. In the print, a couple of printings after that was uncommon, and then now it's common again. It might see some popper play, maybe. We'll see. Diabolic Edict. Definitely need to reprint. So we got Plague Wind back. That ain't mythic? I can't tell. It's all blurry. Such a blurry car. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I'm surprised they didn't. Plague Wind's good. Uh, of course, In Garrick's Wake is better. But that's still a good, you know, reprint. Pernicious Deed is a really good one. That's a mythic now. Oh, no, that's rare. Never mind. I think they've uh, released all the mythics. They brought Notion Thief back. That's awesome. Trick of Skip uh, Phobia or whatever. That one's reprinted. Um, Stang. Stang was a rare in one set and a bunch and a lot of times. And, and I think the last printing was Uncommon. And now this one was reprinted as Uncommon. So, yeah, that's not bad. Hopefully they do this every five years. A Masters uh, set based on um the history of magic every five years so they can add some new cards of course it could get to the point where they have to like skip out on some uh sets uh skip out on the the poor sets or maybe some of the old sets so who knows um but at least i do like the the watermarking a chroma angel of wrath is in here so we got two chromas and a chroma's vengeance i believe um i've always wanted to see you know them eventually make go back to kind of like a time spiral block setup um, where they color shift cards and have a blue, black, and green version of a chroma. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, it'd be really good for a commander setup, having protection from two colors, a, a bunch of different abilities. So, Byron or Brian Stratum's back, Simeon Spirit Guide's back. I'm surprised they didn't see uh, the Elvish Spirit Guide. That would have been a good reprint in, in a set. Because it's still used in Legacy and Vintage, I believe. So, <clears throat> of course, I don't pay attention much to those. Ancient Stirrings is back. That was needed for reprint. Uh, Zada, Hedron Grinder is now an uncommon instead of rare. Rest in Peace needed a reprint. Hell's Caretaker is reprinted. Mystic Snake is reprinted. Uh, so, that's a good one to be reprinted. Um, Liquidus Champion from Legions was reprinted. It's not bad. And it has a one mana regenerate effect. That'd be kind of cool, but it, it's also bolt worthy, so or so easily bolted that. But then again, this could be a uh, this champion could be a standard staple if they decide to do kind of a, something similar to Origins. Um, Elvish Piper's back, back to navigation. So all the rest of these just stayed basically the same. So yeah, Fortune Mish, uh, Thief. So yeah, that is the rest of. Masters 25. I do like a lot of the cards. Like, I think one of the exciting uh, rarity shifts I, I have so far is uh, Relentless Wrath. Relentless Wrath is an easy favorite for having 
a shifted rarity type. And I'm kind of glad they did. But then having, and another, uh, again, another rarity uh, shift that I really like. I think my second one is Will-O-The-Wisp because I had fun. Casually, that was a fun card to play around with. It's a good casual card. Modern viable, you'll never see it in modern unless they, there's a way to use utilize it. Standard, that's definitely this is Will of the Wisp could be a easy standard card. Easy, uh, easy put into like a corset. Just put it in a corset. It'll work fine. It won't be game breaking. <laughs> it might actually see some play in standard. Uh, if they if they risked and put it to uh, common, I could see it being a a popper card. For sure, but that wasn't rarity shifted. Um, but uh, Will of the Wisp is a, is a casual favorite, not a rarity shift favorite. Even though it kind of made sense going from rare to uncommon, but I think, like I said, the Relentless Lurats is probably by far the favorite rarity shift I've seen in this set. Because man, I am going to pick up Popper or pick up a ton of Relentless Rats and and build a Popper Relentless Rat deck. With a bunch of different, uh, like probably 16, 20, Relentless Rats, probably 20, then 24, so I go up to 24 creatures, uh, 20 Relentless Rats, 20, or 4 uh, Gray Merchants, the rest removal and discard effects, Graveyard Hate and stuff like that between that and Sideboard, and then my lands, and I'd be set. Granted, turn 1 and turn, like maybe maybe running turn two, a couple of turn 2 uh um, rats that makes a player discard wouldn't be too bad, but most of the time I'll probably be using Relentless Rats as a as definitely a uh, popper car, uh, set. And actually that one works really well. Of course, some people would probably run Relentless Rats as a other oh, for each other, ooh man mirrored Relentless Rats are going to be insane. You'll have to use cards that literally target and destroy rats. Because they do get tough as tough as your opponents too, so maybe maybe the sideboard against a mirrored relentless rats is strategies like undying uh, for rats, so you can equally trade rats off. Except on un the undying, uh, the card that gives undying. Yeah, so I I'm gonna definitely uh, play around with uh, building this deck on a website that I have that I plan on you know previewing some decks here in the future near future so yeah stay tuned for that but again thanks for watching please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this set uh is it worth it i i don't know i think if you can get a jason mind sculptor it's so worth it but yeah again thanks for watching i appreciate you those watching these videos and you have a wonderful day